Hartville working on Alford, goes baseline around Singh. Bounce pass, Hardwin to Gillen straight away, has to beat the shot clock, and he does for three, and he's fouled. Oh, my goodness. Swing, catching, driving. This is White to the top of the key. This is a big three. Is that Matthews again? Here's Milton Doyle between the circles. He's back on as he works against Jordan Matthews. Doyle sends it in lane, deflected by Beach, stolen by Gillen, ahead to Matthews, all by himself, coast to coast, and he gently places it home. 15-10, Clippers lead it. Here's Gillen driving down the left side lane, tries a, whoa, a rainbow left-hand teardrop, and he got it to go. Roberson hits the free throw. He has a game-high seven points, and it's 20-14, to Clippers lead it. Gillen drives in as he lays it home. Boy, Michael Orris just checked into the game. Oh, and they got a foul as well. Just checked into the ball game. 6-3, 195. They're doing the best they can, and uh, as the day goes on, I'm sure they'll get better and better. But understandable as Gillen goes coast to coast and lays it in with a second left. And up next, it's Lee Com game day on the G League Network. Putney driving. Gillen from the wing in the paint. Runner gets the shooter's touch. A couple of bounces, almost like the Plinko game. Remember that? The price was right. Yeah, able to finish. Nice pass. Yeah, Sword almost took that basketball into the front row, just missed it. I'm not sure how Archie Diakono made that shot. Holland picks up his dribble, bounces it to Jared, but Gillen poked it away, and White comes up with a steal ahead to Gillen. Perante's the only man back. He drops it off, and Sword jams it home. Heard him a jet attempt. Now he drives down the right side of the lane, caught in traffic, gets it to Gillen right side. Four to shoot. Gillen penetrates, fouled, and he lays it in. Cat Barber had position, but he got him with the body. TJ Williams back into the Greensboro line, and Beach has the rebound for Erie. Here comes Gillen down the left side, works his way into the lane, tough move, off the glass and in. Inside the right block against Allen. Back to Gillen on the right side on the perimeter. Two to shoot, he pulls up from 17 feet with a jumper and he hits it. And then he stares down Daniel Dingle after he knocks down the jumper. Gillen in the center floor logo, thought about the three, finds the cutting Evans instead, and Evans does what he does very well, slam it home that race in the southeast absolutely and I and I'm sure that that is something that coach Miller has definitely spoken about and those guys have that in mind and they're out here to play the game to win the game in the early going 11 10 for Wayne here's Gillen alley oop down low to Evans and he couldn't catch it it deflected off his hands and into the bucket gathered it in now Oris drives on the left side of the lane he's in the middle of the key pivoting around his shot is rejected ball loose Gillen comes up with it for Erie. down the center of the floor pushing it right down the lane off the glass and in.